Just really excited right now with the win we were able to get Monday over Southern. Um, girls played a hard fought game. Um, right here to stretch these next three games, Southern going into Texas Southern and Prairie View are going to be some really tough games. Texas Southern um, uh, point guard, she's extremely heady. She's playing really hard right now. She's looking extremely good. Um, and she's really leading the team. She's taking off in each category and assist and leading the, the whole conference in scoring. So we really have to buckle down and defend her and really look to shut down the other guards as well. Uh, Prairie View is playing really good right now. They beat uh, Texas Southern by one point. Their confidence is up where it needs to be. Um, Sandy Pugh is a coach who's a winner. And you know at this point of the season, all the teams are rallying together to get in that top eight. And so teams are looking to kind of make have some upsets at this at this point. So we have to get our players ready and prepared for the unexpected. Coach, Texas Southern appears to be a team that's going to put a lot of pressure on you. They rank number five in the nation in steals and number 12 in turnovers four. So just talk about what you might see and how you can kind of go about game planning for them. Well, you know, I'm sure everybody's going to pick up the pressure on us. And um, that's one thing that we're going to really focus on today in practice, going against a lot of pressure, more pressure than expected, um, to prepare our girls for this game on the road at Texas Southern. Uh, we can foresee them uh, pressuring us full court all night and playing a lot of half court man-to-man -man and zone defense. I just think she's going to bring it every, every option that she can bring defensively. I think she's going to throw it at us. Um, but we have to make sure our girls keep their composure. We can't allow them to speed us up. Um, a lot of teams right now are pressuring us to keep us from getting into our half-court offense and uh, taking the time off the clock. But one thing I like about our players is that they're heady and composed and not allowing themselves to be uh, sped up. So right now we just got to keep focusing on it, keep getting better, and uh, keep working. Coach, how do you how, how do you describe winning 12 games in a row? Have you ever been a part of this? I know in high school you, your team's are really, really good, but as a coach, have you ever been a part of something like this? This is different. It's different, and it's, it's, and it's um, something that we never fought for so coming. Um, but one thing about it, our players play extremely hard, and before every game, they start off by saying we're oh oh this game is oh you know oh and oh no wins no losses we're just coming in fresh game um, and it's it's weird because we haven't played our best game we have players um, our lucky and Deja Rogan who have not been having good games that and we're still able to get over the hump we're getting uh, production from other people in other areas and so you know. I'm just hoping that we peak at the right time and, and, and just keep where we are um, and keep the doubt out. You know, sometimes doubt can set in, not so much from our people, but from people on the outside, you know, saying what we can't do, or this has never been done, or are you afraid if you do this? You know, are you afraid to go undefeated and then lose it? You know, we have to keep the doubt out um, because UConn went undefeated for three years, 152 to zero. So it, it can be done, and we just got to make sure we just focus one game at a time. We don't look ahead. Uh, we just prepare one game at a time. Is that hard to do, to keep and focus like that when all the outside distractions like that? Um, well, as the head coach, I talk to him a lot about focusing in on me, focusing in on each other, mm -hmm. and focusing in on getting better. And I can tell when players aren't focused because they make mistakes. When they aren't focused, they don't play well. And so those are the players who will sit majority of the time on the bench. And it'll send a loud, a loud signal to the rest of them, hey, we got to lock in. We got to lock in. We got to be fo focused. And we got to bring our best effort to the floor every game, not looking ahead. It has to be nice having both Mo and Amisha on the same team. I mean, you can do so much with your game plan. You could sit one, play the other, play them both at the same time. I mean, just talk about how much of a luxury it is just having them both on your roster at the same time. I can remember last year not having that much power. And to have it this year is, is truly a blessing. Um, you know, when one get in foul trouble, you can play the other, and then you can play both of them together. Ideally, we would love to play both together, but then you, you have one going to have to guard a guard on the outside because most schools are creating mismatches for us. Um, but Mo Hamer last game really proved herself that she can get out and defend the guard. She proved herself that we can play her a lot more at that four position. And so we'll look to keep her in the game with Amisha as well if, if they're both out of foul trouble. But it definitely brings a lot to the table in terms of the force we can have around the basket. And uh, it's just truly a blessing to have that. Continuing to, to talk about Amisha, I mean, she just won SWAC Player of the Week um, once again. I mean, 17 points, 13 rebounds, six blocks. I mean, we've talked about she missed basketball the last couple of years. 
I mean, is there another level to her game that we haven't even seen yet? I mean, this is a girl that seems to keep getting better and better and better. I mean, is there just another level we still haven't seen quite yet from her? You know, I'm I'm just so thankful for her health right now and, and the fact that she's rolling. And she is getting better and better as the games go on. And that's something that we we thought that we would begin to see as she got better in better shape. Um, she showed some things last game that kind of surprised us. Some moves around the basket, some spin moves around the basket. It surprised everybody. Nevertheless, um, she's just saw, showing what she's working with. And her confidence is there. She's a different person. She's more livelier. Um, and she, she challenges herself every game. She challenged herself. And so she challenged herself to 20 points and 20 rebounds. And she came to me after the game against Southern and said, Coach, I got mighty close to that 20. So, you know, um, she's really trying. So I told my coaching staff, right now she's averaging right about, right about 20 minutes. I told my coaching staff we can get her minutes up to about 25, 26. She can bring a whole lot more to the floor. And last game we were able to give give her that, those minutes because she was in she's getting in better shape, and so she was able to play and, and it showed in her her productivity stats. Talking once again about Texas Southern, it appears that the bulk of their turnovers and just their game plan appear to be around two girls, Naya Mitchell, and I believe it's. Kiani Cryer, you might have mentioned, both ranked top 15 nationally in several categories. I mean, just how do you match up with those two specifically, and how do you plan on slowing them down? Well, you know, um, we have to play the entire team. A lot of times when you zone in on one of the athletes, you got somebody else to kind of sneak up on you. Um, but nevertheless, uh, Naya is very good from the re from rebounding, so we have to make sure we block her out. Um, Siani is very good in controlling the tempo. If the ball isn't in her hand, the, the offense doesn't run. Um, so we have to make sure we have a good target on her and know where she is at all times. Um, they are very good. I think we match up extremely well with them. Um, we make free throws last game. It's, it's not even a competition. I think it boiled down to free throws with both of, our, both of us. I mean, we're number nine, they're number eight in free, in free throws. So we have to do a better job in that category where we're last and they're next to us in, in that. But um, I think we match up well with them. We just got to sit and defend. We got to um, be prepared for the calls, being away from home, and, and just be prepared for them.